Look, the bigger issue is this. I'll read this to you. Every year, the United States Department of Defence has a statutory responsibility to report to the Congress. And in November of 2022, in its report, the Defence Department said this. The People's Republic of China aims to restrict the United States from having a presence in China's periphery. In other words, not having our, our ships run up and down their coast. That's what it really means. Any more, any more than the Americans would consider. Like, just imagine, could you just imagine if the, if the Chinese Blue Water Navy decided to do their sightseeing six miles off the coast of California? Could you imagine the brouhaha that would go on? So here's the Department of Defence, not me, or, or those of us have ever the PRC aims to restrict the United States from having a presence in China's periphery. In other words, China wants to have, as a great state, they want their front doorway clean, just as, as if you take the Western Hemisphere, Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, you know, there's no way the Americans would want anyone else in that area. And this thing goes on to say... The PLA is increasingly able to project its power into the Philippine Sea. Well, you could just about swim across the Philippine Sea. I mean, shocking. Here's the Chinese, but this is the Americans themselves. So here we are. Here we are. There's the Australian government where, you know, we're going to stop those Chinese. We're going to poke their eyes out. You know, we're going to get these subs. But the US, the US Defence Department said, oh, by the way, I think the Chinese are really only interested in their front door, their periphery, you know. You I, mean, I mean, that takes all the speculation out of it, doesn't it? And just make this point about the United States, threats to the United States. China does not threaten the United States. Nobody can threaten the United States. It's got, it's got 10,000 kilometres of sea between the Chinese coast and California. It's got the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. It has a massive country with, uh, in space, in, in land mass and friends in Canada on the north and Mexico on the south and the greatest armaments in all history. So there's no way the Chinese would ever think of attacking the United States and have never thought to attack the United States. So here we're in this position. The Chinese cannot attack the United States and have never thought so and cannot attack Australia and have never thought so because if they try to attack Australia, we'd simply sink the armada of the combat ships, come, of, of the troop ships coming. So all of this is all... all all foreign policy spook-like talk. You know, these, these spook agencies all have a dirty postcard up their sleeve, you know. When I was Prime Minister, uh, people say, oh, you're not at all interested in the cables, you know, the, 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 the product of, of the security agencies, you know. And they'd have some, oh, PM, we've been listening to someone's phone and they've just said this, you know. I said, listen, if I want to find out about Malaysia and Singapore, I'll read the Straits Times. I'll get more out of that than your nonsense, you know. <laughs>